Text messaging is closely aligned with the email function in ProCare. To check your email settings, make sure that your email is enabled by going to Configuration menu and then System. Here in the Regions and Schools, double click that to locate your school. The email settings are set up one school at a time, so I'll go ahead and pick my school here. Go to the Set Options button down at the bottom and I want to scroll down in the general section here to the bottom where it's got the email settings. You'll need to set your email address and so I'll go ahead and put in my address and in my case I am using the Outlook email client so I'm going to say true to that. You have an option here to use an SMTP server that could be either your own server or a general carrier like Gmail or Yahoo that supports the SMTP protocol. So you just need those settings from that carrier to enable that part if you're not using the Outlook and say yes you're going to use the SMTP server. So that's first step that you need to do. The second thing that needs to be done is you need to download the text messaging networks. This is all of the networks like Verizon or AT&T. So when you double click this option the very first time there won't be any there. It'll look to see if you have any carriers set up and if it's a minimal number of carriers it'll assume that you need to download them so we'll say yes we'd like to download that. Go ahead and click download and that'll update our list of carriers here that are available for us to use when we enter telephone numbers for the text telephone for our individual people. Next we'll go to Family Data and Accounting and I'll show you how to enter the telephone number and save it for an individual person. We'll begin with Gomez Adams. Double click his name to get to his person information and in the lower left corner we'll see the text message button. Click on that. You'll enter here his text telephone number. This will be the 10 digit number that is his mobile telephone number along with his carrier such as AT&T. At this point you can save this information and that will save it to his personal record so that you can either in the future send him an individual text message by coming to this screen or send him a bulk test message by going to the bulk test messaging. To enter a text message, simply click down at the bottom and type in your text message in this area here. And then click the send button. When you click the send button, you'll see that your message has been successfully sent. Now let's see how bulk text messaging works. The first step in sending a bulk text message is to first set your filter to the settings you would like. If you'd like to send the message to just certain accounts or just accounts with certain child related status such as a primary classroom, you can come to the filter button here and select just certain classrooms for example and then exit. And once your filter is set then you would go to the functions menu and choose bulk texting. I'm going to go ahead and clear my filter so I'm using all visible accounts and when I go to functions I'll choose family data and then bulk text messaging. Type your text message in at the top and then select the payers you'd like to send this message to. You can select them individually or click the column header checkbox to select anyone that is eligible to receive a text message. A name that is in pink means that the text messaging telephone and carrier information has not been saved for that individual yet. So we could select both primary payers and secondary payers to send a text message to. After you've selected your recipients for the text message, if you'd like to reveal the address that will be used for sending the text message, you can simply hover over on the left side of the line. You'll see the telephone number and the carrier uh, email address that that message will be sent to for any eligible people simply by hovering over on the left side of the line. And when you're ready, you can click send and your message will be sent. You can also send text messages from the employee data payroll module or the expenses and ledger module as well. And that's how to use text messaging in ProCare.